Hey folks, welcome to part 2 of Hogwarts Legacy. The introduction to this game was quite something. Uh, we got to see a lot and also learned uh, the Lumos spell. And again, there's also Repairy or Revelio, that's right. <laughs> okay, and uh, sorted ourselves in Hufflepuff House. What's this? Alright. Nothing like a morning tea. Alright. And that's breakfast done. <laughs> Alright, the uh, picture frames, they move, don't they? Mm hmm. I say that's the uh, Quidditch uh, field. Does the uh, picture frame behind mine move? Or is it because. Maybe it does, but I think it's more like a <laughs> landscape view, anyways. Oh no, that, that's a train, isn't it? The Hogwarts Express. That's what it is, right. So I must say that uh, I didn't mention this in the last part because it was getting too long anyways, but uh, I do believe I'll be playing this game two, two times at least before uploading it on YouTube. Not before uploading, <laughs> I meant to say I'll be uploading two, uh, this whole gameplay two times on YouTube. Uh, first time I'll be playing as a Hufflepuff student, I'm gonna do everything uh, by the book, ensure that uh, my character remains good throughout the gameplay. But then the second time when I play this, I'll be, uh, I want to get into Ravenclaw and the reason for that is I feel the movies haven't done justice in showing us uh, these common rooms as well, the lives of uh, Hufflepuff and uh, Ravenclaw students. Of course, uh, later on in the movies we are introduced to Luna Lovegood and that's what made Ravenclaw interesting to most people. But having said that, I feel that those are two places uh, that are still quite unexplored in the Potterverse. So that's definitely going to um, be the reason why I'm going to play these two houses. And as well as that said, uh, in Ravenclaw, I want to be this evil wizard. The reason for that is, you might say, why not just go for Slytherin? It's because while all eyes would be on Slytherin, I'll be the unexpected evil lurking in the Ravenclaw halls. <laughs> yes, uh, too much exposition <laughs> right at the start of this video. <laughs> One of my favorite characters, uh, New Scamander. He's a Hufflepuff too, so another reason to choose Hufflepuff. And I just can't get over the fact that I've uh, built a character that looks so similar to New Scamander. I suppose it's probably because of the hair and the face shape. Definitely not the skin complexion or the eyes, but nonetheless, let's get on with it. Let's explore our dorm room. Ooh. No, oh, what's this? House chest. Okay, it says place. You can't take anything from it, you gotta keep something in it, okay. Now I wonder if these are the other bedrooms. They are. I see. I'm sure these uh, students have uh, each their own owl. Because, um, well, no, owls are not the compulsory thing that you need, right? Owl is just one of the pets, uh, options of pets you can choose from. That's right. And uh, I'm guessing the owls are going to be in the owlry, not here. Oh, more breakfast. I'm sorry, what did I just have? I'm assuming it was a pastry. Right. Oh, what's this? Alright. <laughs> Can you get to the second floor? Imagine if there was a ladder somewhere around you. <laughs> hmm. What does this consist of? Oh, wait a second. These are all the uh, beasts. That's a phoenix right there. Mm hmm. Okay, I suppose. Oh, that's a unicorn, isn't it? Okay, upside down unicorn. Alright. Oh, 
Uh huh. Okay, it just stops at the same position, right? Oh, there's a smaller version here. I oh my God! Oh. Are in order. I was just wondering where these guys would be. Oh, here they are. That's so cute. Wait a second. Did I just? Yeah, it's a ghost. Hold up. Can we interact with them? Hey, yo, come back, your boy. That's good, isn't it? What? Oh. More pastries? Did I just shove that whole thing in my face? <laughs> okay, this is the same globe. I see. Hufflepuff has a lot to eat around this place, okay. <laughs> Wait a second. This is the world map. Uh, world map. <laughs> this is a globe of the world, right. Uh huh. Right, we're. Oh, it stops every time on the same locations, okay. Hi, Lenora. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know whose she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Just walk through the doors. I don't to call attention to yourself. Especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. Well, I know Lumos, so I'm not worried. I'm really not worried. I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> Nevertheless, it is rather unusual. You must feel terribly out of place. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. You think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Do sure. you really think you should have been in Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. Mm-hmm. Now, here's the thing, yeah? This has been really pissing me off. <laughs> Why is my robe so dirty? Have I got a hand-me-down robe? Because look at Le Lenora's robe, yeah? And sh hers looks spot on. Like, spotless. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. But why is mine so dirty? It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Hmm. Oh, there is the staircase right there. Okay. It tells me to... Okay, so the... Uh, both of them are here, so I suppose we can just... Hold up, what was that? What was that, fam? Damn, you're very bendy, aren't you? I like how each of these plants are moving. I see you, I hear you, cat. Where you at? Oh, okay, it's right there, okay. I suppose we can just quickly head upstairs and, uh, have an apple. <laughs> oh my god, did I break something? Oh my god, I think I broke something. Imagine, first day coming in breaking plants, uh, breaking plants, <laughs> breaking flower pots. <laughs> I thought you would interact with the ghosts in the game. Oh, 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 hey, what was that? What? No, 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 what? Hey, what do you mean? That ain't right. Why wouldn't they allow us to go upstairs? Hold up. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Ah! You don't need to be frightened, little cat. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Arthur's got you. It's all right. Arthur. You don't need to be frightened, little cat. I can't quite reach. Come on. He went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them. 
especially magical ones. Well, no, I don't tend to agree with your mother. I mean, I am Hufflepuff, so magical beasts are something somewhat of our thing, isn't it? So, shame, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts, Nifflers, Glumbum, Nifflers. That's right. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Well, he wouldn't have since his mother wouldn't allow him, but. Let's ask it nonetheless. Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle. Hmm. And as there you soon go. as the puff skein that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right back to the shop. <laughs> well, good luck, buddy. Nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Alright. Yo, what's that? Lumos. Oh, that's the cat, okay. I thought it ran away, like, further away. I thought that was a rat for a second, I was like, wait a second. Can we crouch? Well, not yet, okay. Oh, there she is. Oh my god, I should stay away from these things, I'm breaking practically everything. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? Ooh, okay. I'm not sure if I should tell her anything because uh, Professor Fig mentioned just to keep it between us. Yeah, but I'm gonna boast. <laughs> that one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Oh, thank you, and you. Oh, okay. Is your uncle alright? Are you That's sure right. everything is alright with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work. Always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Alright, so now it was nice to meet you. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. I'm sorry, are you blind? <laughs> I'm right in front of you. <laughs> okay. Are oh, you still looking for the cat? Dude, just put your hand in there and grab it out, fam. Alright. Yeah, she's a fun character. Wait a second, aren't you the one from the trailers? Poppy something. Hmm. I think that's her. For a common room, there are not many students in here. Must be a total of... 15? 20? I suppose? Whatever, let's... Is this the way out? Uh, it is, okay. Ah, there's Professor Weasley. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, We've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Are you sure this is for my success? I mean, most of my pages just flew out of the book. They've left the building, fam. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. 
It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Did I put that in my underarm? What? <laughs> Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Oh, the badgers, they look so cute. This way. Uh, she's strict. <laughs> this way. <laughs> I love the fact the that the opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Yeah, so I was saying I love the fact that the bitches in these frames move. Clearly, having said that, oh, he is moving. Okay, but <laughs> I just said it, and no one moves. <laughs> I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up! There's so many uh, food items all over the place. Simply cast Revelio on it and we'll see what the guide says. Mm -hmm. Revelio. There you go. House Elf Recipe Book. Rumored to contain some of Helga Hufflepuff's original creations. This book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over the centuries. Some dishes like pickled uh, dri pickled plums <laughs> are likely an acquired taste. Okay. Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. Field guide. Oh, we are uh, level one. I see. Field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Brilliant. This is your visiting level. XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. All right. Mm, tracks your current challenges progress. Select the challenges menu to continue. I see. Mhm. Mm okay. Each challenge has tiers, I see, appearances, okay. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu, come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Alright. Wait, why exit? I thought I had one. Isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Right, I gotta remember to uh, keep pressing uh, Revelio as much as possible. <laughs> Revelio. Oh, a few items around us. I see. Ah, oh. Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Right. Oh, before that, the uh, I don't know what that thing is called, but behind us. You know what? Let's just do this and I'll tell you. Hogwarts, okay, two main areas, left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house common rooms and the Great Hall, okay. Select Great Hall to continue. I see. The view, three themes available in the region, green represents flames you have discovered, including your own house common room. Grey represents uh, locations you need to reveal, okay, so undiscovered ones, got it. Right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, libraries, and greenhouse. Gotcha. Oh, the greenhouse right here. All right. Select the library annex to continue. I see she has already activated one for us. Let's just go there. Travel. Well, I was saying that. The, I don't know if you guys remember, but in one of the movies, they showed us how you can get to the headmaster's room. And here we are. Room. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. And that, uh, the spell... You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Professor Weasley, calm down for one second. Let me do some exposition here. <laughs> right, I was saying that, uh, 
so in order to get to um, Dumbledore's room or the headmaster's room, you need to say a particular spell. I think I believe it's something like Sherbet Lemon, and I do. I think I have a strong suspicion that uh, author J.K. Rowling wrote that spell while sitting at a Boskin Robbins and while she was having a <laughs> lemon sherbet ice cream. <laughs> sherbet lemon. <laughs> oh boy. I wonder how many such spells she took inspiration from Always in such locations. <laughs> it's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross station, so to speak. Is that right? That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Can you tell me more about Charms, Dark Arts, what's Hogsmeade? Let's start here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, Charms, Jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard, and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain, and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Mm-hmm. Okay, I look forward to that. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. There is, in fact, I'm afraid there isn't. Okay, so she's a wholesome person. I kind of want to tell her the truth, but at the same time, I don't want to go against what Professor Figas told me, so I'm going to say I'm afraid there isn't. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. <laughs> oh, she's suspicious. Uh, the she's finding that suspicion. Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh, I can't speak. Yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> you seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic it seems hmm well I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path professor rather unfortunately it would seem that it chose us very well enough chit chat I need to get to class myself might I rely on you professor fig to explain the details of the field guides map of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Right on. Talk to Professor Fig, alright. Oh, there's a page flying there. Let's take a moment to just absorb in this location. <gasps> it all looks so beautiful. 
I wonder if you can use a broomstick indoors. Oh hey, that's a unicorn. Hold up, isn't that a... Oh, that's a dragon. That's pretty neat. Hey, hold on a second. That's a unicorn and a werewolf. That's what it is. I see. Okay. Now from the trailers, I believe that you can move these. Uh, mermaids or sirens. I don't know what it is, but I do. I have seen them move. I don't know if it's part of some uh, side mission or main quest. Oh, hold on. What's that? Rebellion. That's right. Central Hall Fountain. The Solnate Fountain features intricately carved statues of denizens of the magical world, including a set of stone sirens. Oh, they are sirens, okay. Encircling the fountain space, got it. So they can move, right? Challenge complete. Anything else? All right, there are a few pages just flying out and about. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding That's right. our late arrival? You heard it correctly. I'm going to say I didn't like to lie because I genuinely didn't like to lie to her. I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. That she definitely yes, well, does. Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay, you can track available quests from the map. I see. This represents main quest, completing main quest, okay. Mm. Some of them require oh, okay, locked by spells or level requirements, oh, I see, okay. New spells can be earned by completing professor assignments uh, or as quest rewards, oh, I see. It was that flag bouncing up and down? Okay. Track a quest, I see. Alright. Which one's this? Charms class. Okay, the castle is enormous. I may need to use the charmed compass in the field guide to help me find the way. Go to charms class. The other one was dark arts. Right. Okay. I see. Rewards. Oh, Leviosa. What was the other one? Accio. Oh, I'm a fan of Leviosa. Let's do that. And also dark arts, so that works out brilliantly. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. Oh, yes. Mr. Ollivander. He's really? an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. Wait, he was alive back then? chat when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, Focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. How old is Ollivander? Ollivander? I don't know why I pronounce it that way. <laughs> Gosh, charmed compass. Oh, okay. Is it really necessary though? Because I can also see it on the minimap. Oh, I see. It's foggy out here. Or is it because I have activated this? Let's see. Deactivate? Nope. Weather stays the same. <laughs> right, let's just do this Rebellion. once. Also, was that the Great Hall we were in? 
There were a few chests in there. I'll probably come back for it later. Right, let's collect this. Hello. There we go. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a lake layer, so a rhine on top and serves as a relaxation place for students to gather, okay? Despite rumours to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadogan, this is uh, most assuredly not meant to be the rhine of rye, what? <laughs> Slain by the likely knight in spite of himself, okay. And just like that, we have reached level 2. Revelio. Nothing back here. Okay. Oh, kitty, kitty. Oh. It looks like the cat from Sabrina. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, and it purrs. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so, 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 so cute. I'm glad the uh, devs included this in the game. Wait a second. I see a chest. Hold up. There's supposed to be a chest right where I'm stood. Revelio. Um, is it about me? What? I'm sorry. Where is this chest? Unless. Lumos. Yeah, that did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's just rolling. Disable that. Blue flames, got it. Alright. We are supposed to go this way, right? Beeves. Oh, hey! Hey, has a brand new game. Just beware the open flame. <laughs> Alright. Does he just keep doing this? Because I believe everyone stood here around me has left. <laughs> Look at that, people left. <laughs> oh, that's one guy. <laughs> well, he sure is enjoying his time. Look at me! That young'un's now a teacher herself. Wonder she's not covering my own face tonight. Oh my god, the gargoyle speaks. Okay, that's pretty neat. Okay, this area is enormous. The castle is so big. Right, we're going to the defense against the Dark Arts class. Oh, and we're already there, okay. Sure, begin quest. The eyes follow you, I see, okay. Is that all you've got? Sebastian, that's him, that's right. You'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. <laughs> it was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. 1878, so we are definitely a, a period after that. To the wise, okay. age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. <laughs> a levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Steady a wand, okay. Let's do this. There we go. There we are, so... It's, I think, the second... Spell. That's my favorite after uh, Lumos. <laughs> Brilliant. Now, let's try something a little larger. 
Oh, I thought she was gonna say the dragon skeleton. <laughs> Can they just keep going? Oh, never mind, it falls down, okay. <laughs> Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Don't chuckle just yet. I wonder if I just do skip this on him. There you go. Nothing lucky about it. Let me I know. Sit down, boy. Oh, wait a second, it has a cooldown. There you go, Sebastian. Aha! No sweat. No sweat at all. For a beginner. You give as good as you get. Look at the smile on my face. Hey, hey! I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. That's right. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. And I shall deliver. <laughs> But battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. That was the call class. Okay. That was a short lesson. <laughs> I say, speak with Sebastian. This ain't Sebastian, this is Arthur. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. I see. Okay, Arthur. A little disappointing. Wait a second. She's, uh, she's my favorite character until now, isn't she? Uh, and I forgot her name. I think it's Adeline. You dueled Sebastian. Adelaide, in a okay. Competition. Well done. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. There are a few more here, none of them Sebastian. Oh wait, he's there, okay. I suppose we can talk to all of them before, but before that, let's Rebellion. Oh right. Everdeen Black Skeleton. Oh, this is everything she just Set to house in the cutscene. Okay, right. So we're definitely in the period after the 18 uh, after 1878, which means we could be quite close to the 20th century. Right. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. That's all you had to offer. Okay. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you. Not the other way around. Mm hmm. What was that? <laughs> right. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Oh, yeah, this is my first year. <laughs> I'm so excited to be in the same room as the dragon skeleton. The only thing we have been, I mean, the thing we have been only seeing in movies. Like, I wonder if there'll be more classes in this, uh, in this room. Nice I, I would imagine there would be. Wait a second. Rebellion. Nope, nothing here, okay. Yes, Sebastian, what do you want to say? 
You lost badly, that's why? Okay. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've had my share of wand comeback. It was never used. Wait, never used my wand. You know what? Let's mess with him. <laughs> In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Definitely sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck, or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. No. What's this? Quest completed? Oh, okay. And we also acquired Leviosa, so that's good. There's supposed to be a treasure chest here? Revelio. You can see it on the minimap. Where is it at, though? Is it outside this room? Behind the door or something? No. Hmm. Oh, it says it's uh, it's a boss. Okay. Right, because there's a really tiny arrow pointing up, upwards. All right. I just noticed something during that cutscene. On the uh, DualSense controller, the lights flicker yellow and white. I'm guessing yellow because uh, we have chosen Hufflepuff. I wonder if it turns green, red, and uh, blue for the other houses. Okay. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Uh huh. Okay. Right on. We gotta go up there. All right. It's the charms class. That's right. Wait a second. Let's just get into the menu real quick. Quests. Crossed ones round one. Talk to Luke and Battleby. So this is what Sebastian was on about. Okay. Right. What else is there? Inventory. Do we have anything? No. Okay. Gear. I see an exclamation there. Handwear? Okay. What's that? Oh, leather gloves. Alright. We are not leaving a fingerprint behind. I see. I see. Okay. We're going to keep it unequipped for now. Uh, face wear. Glasses? Where did I acquire these? Okay, so these are the Harry Potter styled ones, I see. I'll go without glasses for now. Headwear. Cap. Oh, hey. Looks uh, pretty decent. Neckwear. Okay, we, all, we already have a lot of things in here. Oh, I see. Yeah, it looks quite similar to the one worn by the antagonist from the first movie. Okay. Robes. Okay, so we can we can destroy it too. Cell value is zero. I would imagine so. I mean, look at the robe. It's so dirty. Why is it dirty? Okay. We did that outfit. <laughs> okay. All right. Now let's just uh, put back our clothes on. All right. See challenges, quests completed. To okay, hold on. What's this gear appearance reward? Yeah, we go for that. It's a glove, isn't it? Okay, sweet. We don't have the cape yet, right? What else is there? Field guide pages, claim reward. Sure, yeah. What's this? Not done yet. I see. 
Right, I wonder if... Okay, so you can switch between the uh, tabs using L1 and R1. You don't need to go back all the time. Okay. Side quests are now available, I see. Okay. What else is there? There's collections. Wait, I thought you could wear these. Can you not? Are, are these just going to appear in your collection? That's what, exactly why I wanted to get a gear. And since we know we have glasses. No, okay. I see. So those are just uh, collections then. Those are not part of your gear or inventory. I see. What's this? Reveal your pages. Oh, okay. These few that we collected earlier. Right. There's a broom symbol. Brooms, oh, okay. You can get 13 brooms, I see. There's these wand handles. Okay, I thought they were 14, uh, 42 different wands, I see. Conjurations, ingredients, base, revenue pages, appearances, enemies, tools, traits, I see. Okay, nothing here available at the moment. We can go straight to quests. Charms, okay, this is that. Outpost is disabled for now. And these are the settings, I see. Alright. Is that a dog? That's a scary dog. But if it's a werewolf, then it's a, it's a rather cute werewolf. <laughs> Yes, let's grab some tea. It seems just the right thing to do after a hectic class. <laughs> right, let's see this go this way. Revelio. I believe you gotta keep clicking Revelio every time you change uh, the section you are in of the game, just so that you don't miss out on anything. That's a person's face right there, okay. A wizard's face. Who's that? Oh, who is this? Oh, Fool Flames, okay. What are you up to now? I wonder what's through these doors, because on the map it seems as though there might be a bridge. And it is, okay. Oh wow. Oh! Folks on broom! I, I didn't know what that was at first, okay. I think we might have been here, or we, we have seen this in the uh, developer's gameplay that was released a few months ago. Wow. Okay, oh yeah, there they are. They whoosh by so quick. Alright folks, I suppose this is a good time to say this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed part 2 of the Hogwarts Legacy series. If you did, then sh do leave a like, uh, comment on the video and subscribe for more such content. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care and goodbye.